We've got a classic soup today, broccoli and blue cheese. A bit of a strange combination, but believe you me, it works great. I love this soup. You know, we've got broccoli in there, we've got some celery and some leeks as well, just to get some more green vegetables in there, so it's gonna be bright green. We're gonna make some beautiful croutons with this sourdough, and of course, this nice creamy blue cheese just to finish it off. And what goes well with blue cheese? Walnuts as well, so that's gonna be a little bit of texture on top, the chefified part of the soup. So that's a little bit later on the show. I'm going to show you all the secrets. Now it's back over to Mike. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen. We're finishing off soup week. And when you look at the ingredients, not much to it. It's all going to come down to the skill, I think. And luckily, we've got you, Mark. <laughs> so uh, broccoli and blue cheese. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know. People don't really sort of think of uh, broccoli in a soup to start with. True. And then broccoli with cheese. Mm. Mm, a little bit different, but it works fantastically well. Blue I, cheese I is great. It is. I reckon it's going to taste amazing. It, it, it really is. And if you don't like blue cheese, goat's cheese as well works really well. Goat's cheese. Oh, good. Good alternative. Because some people go, eh, I don't like blue cheese. You're smelling. Eh. <laughs> smells like mold. <laughs> but it's a very good impression, actually. <laughs> but it's great. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those flavours, you know. It's a, it's a strong cheese, and you sort of you either love it or you, you or you don't. True. It makes your fingers stink, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. But then there's lots of different levels of uh, of, of <laughs> There's lots of different levels of blue Is that cheese. Blue cheese? <laughs> <laughs> right, behave, Mike. It's Friday. Sorry, I'm going to be So, so if, if you're not too keen on that, like, really strong, stinky cheese, what Mike's just been describing, you can get, like, a lighter, creamier cheese, you know? So okay, just, cool. just have a look at it, you know? Okay, nice. So what are we so eating? Right, what so do we need to do? Bit of butter? Right, a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter in there. So we're just going to get that down. I'm going to make the base of the soup. So I've got a little bit of garlic and onions, and I've got some celery as well. So okay. it's just gonna, we're just going to start adding some, you know, flavours to sort of complement the broccoli, but at the end of the day it is a broccoli soup, so we want more broccoli than anything else. But you'll get a nice sort of depth of flavour with the celery in there. Just yeah. pork it out a little bit. A little bit of leaf as well. <laughs> that's a good smell there, isn't it? Well, that's the, that's the, that's the best it. ingredient in it, let's face it, you know. So cut your leek into little chunks like that. Yeah, so I'm just going to use the uh, white part of the leek. You know, so it's just a just a bit like an onion, but a little bit sweeter, you know, okay. you get a nice, um, nice flavour from it. So we're just going to sweat all that down. A little bit of uh, salt in at the moment, and yeah. that's going to help sweat um, sweat the vegetables and release all the flavour. Excellent. And and start seasoning the soup. So sweat it down for about sort of five five to seven minutes over sort of a medium heat. Don't want any colour on there, okay? So you're just uh, bringing out the flavours, keeping them nice and soft. Nice. And then what we're going to do is uh, we've got some chicken stock here, so we're going to use that as a base. You okay. know, if you want to keep it all vegetable, well, uh, vegetarian, use vegetable uh, veg stock. Yep. veggie stock. But if you're going to do a broccoli and blue cheese, you can just actually just do it with water if you want. You know, if you didn't have any stock, you can okay. do it with some water. That's that's um, you know easy enough to do as well because nice. you've got all these like big flavours in there. Right, broccoli. So obviously going to use the head of the broccoli. That's what we um, what we use and what we eat. So I'm going to yep. take them down a little frets. I'm pleased so, you're using broccoli because I tend to buy it because I'm like, oh, I'm going to get some broccoli in me, I'm going to be all healthy, and then it just sits in the fridge. <laughs> so uh, this is good. Way. How many broccoli heads have you got in the fridge? Well, the worms have been enjoying a few broccoli heads recently. Because you buy them in that check, you know, you go to the supermarket, it's two for, you know, four bucks, and you're like, oh, bugger, no, I'm going to buy broccoli and be all healthy. And then it just goes rotten in the fridge and you throw it out. So this is a good way to use it up. <laughs> it is a good way to use it up. So take all the, um, the tops, the florets, uh, sort of roughly... Chop them in sort of the same sort of size, and we're going to cook them after once we've got the base and all those flavours in the uh, in the soup. Do you want me to stir that yeah, you for can, you? you yeah, can okay. that. Do but, something. You know what do you do with the um, stalk? Oh, I usually feed it to my worms. Got a little worm farm. <laughs> yeah, lucky worms. I know. Right. So if you're making a soup, get the stalk and just chop it up, and you can put the stalk in now. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. And this is going to give you extra flavour, and it's using up the whole broccoli. Good work. You know. Nice. So get the stalk in, and we want to cook that out. I'm going to pop some stock in there now. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to bring that back to the boil, and then we can uh, start with the second stage of our soup and start get blending. Well, I've got to say, I've really enjoyed soup week, actually. It's been a really good, good time of year to do it. And as Mark said, we'll get the second part to this in just a minute. Okay, so this soup is coming along quite nicely. It's smelling incredible. Well, we've got leeks, we've got broccoli, we've got onion, butter, and chicken stock in there. Yeah, that's right. So it's coming to the boil now. So I'm going to use a bit of uh, potato to thicken it. Okay. So just get a potato and just slice it nice and thin, and then that will make sure the potato cooks evenly okay. and fast. Nice. And I've left the uh, skin on to make it extra healthy, just to counterbalance the butter. Nice work. So we can add some more butter in the recipe later. 
And uh, I heard Holly <laughs> earlier this morning explaining that she uses the stalks for from the broccoli in a stir fry. So a lot of people do that too. Yeah, and she got a great name for him as well, hasn't she? Yes, yes, yeah. she, she does. Medallions. Medallions. <laughs> broccoli medallions. It's very posh, isn't it? It'll be in your restaurant before you know it. Hey, well, it's on the menu tonight. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> right, so we get the potatoes in there, so they're not going to take long to cook. Yep. Right, all the broccoli heads go in there, the florets. And then all you want to do is just make sure you cook it all together. Now we've got all the flavours into that stock. Everything's cooked in the stock. Yep. The, the potatoes are not going to take long. So by the time the potatoes are ready, the broccoli will be nice and soft, and then we can blend it. So the important thing is we don't want to keep cooking it for like you know hours and hours and hours until it goes all brown. You still want it a bright, vibrant green um, soup. Brilliant. Uh, blue cheese goes in last minute. Okay. So you can just pop it in the pan just before you blend it. So you make okay. sure everything's cooked, and then into a blender, blend the whole thing up. Save a little bit as well. You can crumble on top if you want. That's yes. always nice. We've got some walnuts there, which we're just going to chop. And sprinkle and then, over the top. Yep, okay, over so the I've, got top. A, I've got a question for you. Do you strain all the stock out or do you leave it? No, no, no you need the stock to blend it. Okay, cool. So you need that liquid in there to blend the soup. So, okay. And then it's entirely up to you. You know, some people like it nice and thin, mm -hmm. some people like it nice and thick. Okay. So, you know, what, however you like your soup, you know, add more stock or less stock. Okay, or great. If you blend it all with all the stock and it's really thick, just, you know, a splash of water because you've, you've got the stock, it's reduced down, you've got more flavour. Okay, cool. So, little pan here. Uh, we're just going to make some croutons, so just some uh, sourdough or even old bread. It works with old bread um, really well. Um, it's always nice to put a little knob of butter in there as well. Oh, of Extra course, flavor. of course, man. And, um, I'm speaking your language. <laughs> and then just, uh, you know, just pop it in and give them a little season, some salt and pepper, and then just keep, you know, keep tossing them around. Keep mm -hmm. it on a medium heat. You don't want to burn that butter. You just want the butter to sort of rich it and coat it, and then it will start toasting. It will be nice and uh, crispy on the outside and still nice and sort of... Um, you know, almost soggy on the inside. Brilliant. Okay, Soft cool. is a better word than soggy. And how much would you chop your walnuts? Well, I mean... Finely or whatever yeah, you like? Yeah, you know, you've got these little walnut halves there, so yeah. pretty much just um, just run over it with a knife, just so you've got nice little pieces. You know, you don't want, you don't want too big a, um, walnut pieces in there because you don't want to choke on that. Right. And then secret ingredient as well to finish the soup, season it with some black pepper or white pepper. It really brings out the flavours of the, um, the cheese. You know, and it's as simple as that. If you want to make it richer, we could add some cream in there or some creme fraiche. But you know, you've got the you've got the richness of the cheese, so you actually don't need to. But um, you know, no rules when it comes to a soup. Nice work. And how long? Just to remind us, how long do you want to keep this going for? I reckon you want to cook that for about sort of five, five to seven minutes, just until it's all soft. So just keep looking at it. Make sure your potatoes are cooked, otherwise you're going to have like lumpy bits in your soup. Okay. And then uh, you know, same again with the soup. Blend it in the blender. Yeah. Um, if you want to pass it and get it nice and smooth and velvety, pass it through a sieve. But uh, you know, give it a few minutes in the blender, and you won't Brilliant. need to. You know. Nice work. I've really enjoyed Soup Week. It has been fantastic and this is a great recipe to finish it off. And of course, if you want the recipes from today or from the rest of the week, just go to thecafe.co.nz. Chef Mark, how's the broccoli soup turned out? Well, it's looking fantastic. We've got the croutons there, a little bit more blue cheese on top, and then finish it with some walnuts and a little bit of black pepper, and yum. that is good to go. Yum, yum, yum. There you go. <laughs> That's delicious. The croutons look amazing. Okay.